You startled me there. I forgot my name, it's Barbie. I'm gonna teach you and we're gonna learn how to. Thank you so much for joining me on my journey to learn how to behave. Women are meant to be seen and not heard. We've come a long way from that, but many of us are self-conscious about our bodies because we're still very much judged on how we look. So I'm on a journey to see if it's possible to love your body wholeheartedly. First up, Monica is a Bronx-born artist who is very public on social media with her vulnerabilities about her body. Her skin, her hair, and everything else that we all worry about. My paintings tend to explore what can and can't be seen with the female body. A lot of it has to do with my identity as an immigrant and also as a person of color. And over the years, it became something a lot more intentional, really tuning into the conversations that are had. It's like my body, it's, it's my work, it's just my words, but it creates a community. So how do you think that the social media responses have changed or have not changed over the years? Sometimes it gets really dark, like people like, well, you should die, like how dare you. And I've had people call me like a fucking pig, like say really crazy shit. Um, and I'm just like, delete, block, delete, like, block. done, I'm engaging with this, honestly. And believing that you have to behave modestly is a big thing. Like, you know, you're big, so hide it. Like, you have to wear these certain clothes so you look good. You can shave it off, so shave it. You're supposed to be kind of made to be looked at. So growing up, what was your journey with body hair like? I used to really hate having body hair. My mom didn't let me shave till I was maybe like 13 or 14. It was just constantly on my mind, but I think, when I stopped shaving and stuff, that's when I really grew into myself and was able to realize this is what my body does and it does it for a reason. Before, I always felt like I had to shave. Yeah, people put this ideal on women or people in general to like be this like sex doll that's like hairless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna take this here mic and go interview people on the street about their thoughts on body image and body hair. Ma'am, ma'am, hello, can I please, can I please just, it's just one, I, I swear, just please jump in, just jump in, it's just one question, I just have to talk to you. How do you feel about body hair on people in general? Um, I'm not crazy about it, to be honest. I prefer less. Do you, do you shave everything, or do you have like certain things that you just like don't? Wax and shave. What do you personally do to groom? Oh, I just let it all hang out. I'm all natural. Ooh, so you don't spend any time on that. How much time do you think you spend grooming a week? Grooming? What do you shave and what don't you shave? I shave my arms and my legs, my armpits. And how do you feel about um, body hair on women? I. Ooh, that's bad because I, I don't particularly care for body hair on women. A little hair on the arm is okay, but just keep it completely shaved off. I spoke to a few men and they seem to reinforce all of our fears. Hair on men, hygienic, fine. Hair on women, uncleanliness, ugly, unattractive. All this male feedback got me a little fired up and inspired me to seek out people who accept each other's bodies the way they are. Next up, the young naturists of America believe in tolerance, body positivity, and ending of censorship. Welcome to Rock Lodge. Is there like an undressing room or do people just show up nude? No, people undress at their car or wherever they feel comfortable. I feel comfortable <laughs> right here. I'm just okay. gonna... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. You just like feel the air, you feel the sun, you, you feel, you know, you're in tune with nature and you like, feel connected to the earth. I love that. Like, yeah. Oh, someone's like sunbathing over there. Yeah. Breeze yeah. feels good upon my nips. <laughs> so Felicity, what usually draws people into naturism? Like the body acceptance does draw them into it. I mean, they come and they try it and they're like, wow, Nobody's looking at me. Every single person has different body types. You see all sorts of things and you can relate to people. Be like, wow, like I also have like a body <laughs> like yours or it's, yeah. not, it's not abnormal for me to have fat in my body or have, you know, like one boob but bigger than the other. I'm Barbie, I've been a naturist for four hours now. <laughs> it's been great. So what we're first gonna do is actually use this gender neutral and empty body outline and just write any kind of negative messages that you've gotten about your body. You gotta go with the kinkles. <laughs> oh, 
too hairy. Somebody yeah. said pancake boobs. Everyone Love likes boobs. pancakes. Who doesn't want <laughs> like flappy arms. Yeah. Wrinkles. Well, my biggest, like my biggest <laughs> insecurity is my yeah. feet. Yeah, there's like a lot here. I mean, this could take up a lot of mental energy if you're worried about all these various different things. And you do have to consciously say, I'm not gonna have this make me feel bad about myself. One thing I wanted to do was skinny dip, so. Often do you guys like paint each other? It's a common thing for um, nudists. Like it's artistic. It's like fun. Yeah. But the canvas is right there. <laughs> okay, so I have a question. Don't get mad at me for asking. <laughs> what happens if you get an erection? <laughs> it rarely ever happens because it's not sexual. It's not a sexual yeah. like atmosphere. Like, but like, way. but like I was joking. But like seriously, like you know, if something like that happened, you know, like just like you know, usually just. It, it doesn't really happen, but if like it does, like you know, you, you can just like don't flaunt it. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, it is. and if you keep having it for a long time, right. that's because you want to have it, right. and because you have right. other intentions. So, right. but like I, when I got here, I must say, like I was a little nervous. I was like, oh my god, I have to unleash like my naked body. I remember feeling completely terrified by the idea of it, and now it's the complete opposite. Like I could go in the middle of Times Square naked in front of my friends and family. Coming to the Rock Lodge, I've learned that people tend to judge others on their bodies, on their clothing, on the way they speak, everything else. But here it's designated to be a safe space. The mission of Naturists are pretty much everything I'm about. Body positivity, anti-censorship, good self-image, and just being nice to everyone. And being here, you can feel whole because you're more than just your body. You are a person.